is here. What's at stake? It's simple. It's winner go home at one end of the ice and a chance to close out at the other. Bring it. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Down the right side and into the zone. There's a chance in front, and that's intercepted. There's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Dismiss that chance. Let's it fly! Oh, nice stop with the glove by Di Pietro. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Handles the pass. Fires it on net, and he makes the save. The Bruins have it now. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Puts it on net. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Toborowski's lugging the puck. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Smith's hauled down, penalty on the way. There's the whistle, let's get the official decision. On this situation, he is going to get the tripping call. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call. The Penguins will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by McLaughlin. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. The Penguins are getting penalized for slashing. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck against the half wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Providence is ready to go on the attack. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Loses his balance on the play. Gets in front of him. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Bruins win the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. Gets down low and blocks the shot. Providence has got a brief window on the power play with the penalty expired. Here's a shot. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Oh, what another save. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Great defensive effort with the stick. Cuts to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left in the period. Still no score in this one. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Across the line along the left wall. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. They fight for it along the boards. Back to the blue line. Great reach with the poke check. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Looks to make a play over to Smith. On the attack along the boards. Penalty coming up. What a steal in his own end. Providence has got him in the offensive zone. There's the 
the whistle, and here's the call. The Penguins are off to the box. Interference the call. here on the man advantage. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they gotta find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Takes the puck. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And it's a quick pass to Toporowski. The Penguins gain possession of the defensive zone. Poked away in the offensive end. Wilkes for East Granton's in now. Receives the pass. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. The Penguins have it against the wall. Puck clears the zone. Walsh has got it in the defensive end. Inside his own end moves the puck. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty handed on that one. Well, this power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Let's it go! Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Helberg's got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. Takes a shot. That one misses, and we'll play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Sends it quickly to Sohorna. Fires it! Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Helberg! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Providence has got it in the wrong zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Wilkes for East Granton's got the puck in their own end. The Penguins play it along the way. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Quick shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the wall by Ansons. Here's a shot! Gets a piece of it with the blocker! Here's a short pass to Magda. Providence has got the puck along the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on? The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. More than half the frame has been played here. The game is still scoreless. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Zaboral's a key blue liner, not just because he defends so well, but because he can add additional offense. Kinestroza's usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Those are two big names I'll be keeping tabs on all throughout this matchup. Now, send it back upstairs. Tries to feed it over to Kinestroza. And he slides it quickly to Abigail. Wilkes for East Granton's got it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Providence has got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come. Till the left side on the attack. Moves it to Rikula. And we got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Getting into the later stages of this period. We're still scoreless. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's kind of along the wall. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Bruins are getting called for boarding on the play. The Penguins once again send out their power play unit. Power play is struggling. You gotta find a way to get the puck to the net. And you have to have net front presence take away the eyes of the tender. You know they work on it from a young age. Anticipation, puck tracking, depth perception. Take away the eyes. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. 
The Bruins will kill off a few extra seconds now. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And he takes the feed. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And they get that puck down the ice. Looking to break out here on the power play. The Penguins take it across the blue line. Here he is with the backhander. Answered the call there. DP is in the right spot at the right time. Just a brilliant save. And the puck clears the zone. Looks for Scranton's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. Wow, that power play really wasn't effective at all, James. The coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it correlated to nothing. You have to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up scenes and lanes to the net. Oh, no! Lock as it goes off the outside of the post. Oh, a great chance there, James, and an opportunity to get the go-ahead goal, but the pipe gets in the way, and it says, not today. Providence has got the puck along the boards. Renouf stick handling in his own zone. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Slides the puck across to Abandonado. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Abandonado. The Penguins have it now. And loses possession after a solid hit. He's all alone with the goaltender. You can tell there's still a little frustration in their faces after that non-goal call. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Confidence won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Poked away in the defensive end. Puck scooped up by Smith. Quick pass to Kovanen. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. A oh, great core strike to hang on to the puck after that. Confidence into the offensive zone now on the attack. And that one's denied. And he handles a cross-ice pass. 
And now it's grabbed by Walsh. Wilkesbury Scranton's grab a hold of the puck. Tries to the sweet spot. Decides to think about it. Quick feed to Fadoon. Poked away by Toporowski. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. Them with the hit. Arsenal's got it along the wing. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Tries to get it over to Fadoon. Here they come on the attack. Providence has got the puck. Sporles taking it from his own end. Hall's got it against the boards. Here's a chance. Over the net. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Henestrosa has been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. And the play is whistled dead and here's the call. The Bruins are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. The Penguins send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. They look up. Oh, stick save for the puke. Here's a shot. Kicked away. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Avin Donato's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's won the faceoff. Here's a shot. Lays out to get that one blocked. The Penguins moving ahead. Here's a short pass to Evan Donato. Play is blown dead with the offside. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. The Penguins win possession here in the open ice. And the puck leaves the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Wilkesbury Scranton's gained the line and into the zone. And he takes the feed. Nice job to escape the zone. Takes it from the right side. The Penguins power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. Sends it over to Abadonato. Moves it to Samarukov. Good hit to knock the puck loose. The Bruins take it along the wing. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. And now he moves it quickly to Harrison. Poked away at center by Shea. Picked up along the boards by Harrison. Moves it quickly over to McLaughlin. Joshua's taking it from his own end. Uses the force on that hit. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Quick pass to Walsh. Drills him. Feeds the puck to Hall. Intercepts the pass. And he loses control here. The Bruins get a hold of the puck. Comes up with a stop. And he takes the dish. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Providence is on the attack. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. And he takes the pass. Turned aside with the glove by Hilburn. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Past the midway mark of the frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Confidence won it in their own end. Puck moved over to Fadoon. 
Quick feed to Kotanen. Here we go, on the rush. To his teammate. Denied by the goaltender. Slides the puck over. Moves it around along the half wall. Lays out to block the shot. Slick feed. Works it across to Kajakovic. Makes a move in front. And that's broken up. Providence is looking to break out. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Magda. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Providence has won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Moves it to Magda. Takes the feed. Scoops up the puck now. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Oh, look at this chance. Oh, and he just missed the net. Oh, this is a huge miss in a scoreless game. James really could have elevated his team and given them a huge momentum boost. Denies him in close. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Tough save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Here in the late goings of the period, still no score in this one. Providence has got the win off that draw. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Bruins looking against the half wall. How did he stop that one? You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Off a stick and they can't connect. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. The Penguins take possession here in the open ice. And the puck skips off the puck. Takes the feed. From the right side, they gain the zone. Shot! Fantastic save! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make a save from a high danger area. Sends a pass over. Ansons is on the attack. Di Pietro's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Providence has got a hold of the puck. Still has possession. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. I think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Providence has got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Toborowski. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Moves the puck along the half wall. Fans screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. Shot! Oh, and the buzzer, a big save! And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury.
Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Well, the goaltenders have really stolen the spotlight here, James. I think the players on both sides are saying to themselves, what do we have to do to put one by? Some good stick work to force that turnover. Takes the pass. Taken by Renouf. Moves the puck. The Bruins play it along the boards. And that's off a stick. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Shea. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Quick pass across to Shea. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Providence is going to start with the puck in their own end. They gain the zone from the left side. Knocked off the puck. Looks for East Granton's got it along the wall. Slides it over with pace to Toborowski. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And that's deflected off someone in front. Handles the puck. Oh, what a save in front. Scrum ensues along the boards. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Scores! And we finally have the deadlock broken here in the third. Well, it's been a defensively sound game, and the ice has really closed up quickly, James, but they find a way with good habits to finally get on the board. Well, this is a really smart shot from traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Bruins take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Quick feed down low. And he slides it quickly to Fadoon. On the back end, it's up. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Penguins have gone up by two now here in the third, and boy, do they look good. Well, that's sending a message right to start the third period, isn't it, James? Listen, you're dictating the pace in all different areas of the ice. You come out in the third, you get another one. That's a great way to start third. Looks for East Grinton's game possession along the boards. Handles the pass. Shot. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Penguins have all the momentum right now, leading by two. And since this win to draw, will work offensively. Oh, he'll walk that one back as he just puts it wide right in the slot. Well, not a lot of time from that area, especially when you're in the middle of the ice, the golden area as we call it. But he's got someone on him, but he gets rid of it quick. Just misses. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Pumps it away to keep the pressure on. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's in transition. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's moving it up the ice. And Estroza's going to play it against the half wall. Receives the pass. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Sizzling shot, and he makes the save. The Bruins gain possession. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. 
That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. Providence's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now. So they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Cuts into the paint. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with the glove save. Wow. More than half the period left to play. Providence is still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Puck grab by Semerukov. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Quick stop. Easily turned aside by Di Pietro. Renouf's got the puck in his own zone. And he takes the feed. Quick pass to Walsh. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. Slides the puck ahead in zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Off the crossbar! What an opportunity right there! Popping in, being effective, getting to the right places at the right time, but it hits the post again, James. He cannot get discouraged. We're starting to see his frustration levels increase. Takes the pass from the left wing. Wilkes Berry Scranton's got a second unit that's been explosive tonight and a reason why they're on top in this game. And listen, it's a luxury when your coach can look down the bench and look at the second line and see that kind of depth. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. It's been a low-scoring affair, James, but it's been entertaining on both sides, just unable to finish. And as an athlete, this can be very frustrating. You're squeezing the stick tighter and tighter with every miss. Quick feed to Fadoon. Tries to get it over to Callahan. And he takes the feed. Inside the offensive end now down the left. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Passes on over to Hidestroza. Puck dumped in. Providence has got possession of the puck. Slides it across to Callahan. Providence is through center right now in the offensive end. Slides it back to the blue line. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Made the stop on that play. Dished on over to Hidestroza. Shot! Oh, glove saved by Di Pietro. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Penguins lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Here's a shot! Di Pietro's gonna hang on for a whistle. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Providence has got the puck against the boards. Oh, he's saving! Oh my goodness, what a score! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how such an impressive save love looking at this one again James you know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay a lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff and they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to work Quick shot. Oh, gets a piece of it with the puck. And he's knocked off the puck there. Oh, a board rattling hit right there. Uh, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. A lot of people were excited to see this head to head matchup tonight. Do we have a winner? Ooh. Carlin Bade standing by with her answer. Zaboros, the player, I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Penalty coming up here. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off.
Bucks has got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. To the front! Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Play is called for offside. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? The Bruins take control of the face-off. Here's a short pass to Tavarowski. And he comes up big again. And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Anson's and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got it in the defensive zone. Providence has regained possession of the puck. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Trying to shake loose. He's in the clear. Oh, he can't pull the trigger on the play. Uh, because he skated himself into no man's land, ran out of real estate and gets nothing for it. Thank you. He'd like that one back. Providence is across the blue line. Scooped up along the wall by Whitman. Oh, and the stick falls on the when James when you're in a prime scoring area and you have to get back to the bench as quick as possible so you go from being there and then being at the bench the worst approaching the final minute of regulation Wolfsbury Scranton's got a hold of the puck Chase in front great save from in tight Helberg's been dominant in the crease tonight he's turned away a lot of high danger shots and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team giving him a real opportunity to win in the final moments of this period, it's 2-1. Moves it to Megna. And he takes the dish. Denied by the puck stopper. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. The net is empty. A big draw here looming inside the offensive end. Confidence won a big draw on their own end. Carries the puck. within the series and I thought that they were 
terrific in terms of the effort areas, and that goes a long way when you're grinding it out. And that'll do it from this one here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Good night.